Hi, I'm Dr. J. Akef. I'm a certified periodontist and I also specialize in dental implants. Today I'm going to talk about three-dimensional view of gum disease. When you go to your dentist or your periodontist, they tell you you have deep pockets around your teeth on the gum and we have to do deep cleanings and or osseous surgery or laser gum surgery to correct the condition. I'm going to show you on a model what it means we do so you can understand it better. Now here are the models. So when you see that you develop gum disease, if you have a healthier gum and a diseased gum, this is an early stage gum disease. You see, you got the jawbone supporting the teeth and you develop this plaque and that causes inflammation that causes bone loss around the root surfaces and a more advanced stage you see you develop healthy gum here but then you you, you see when you get the advanced gum disease you lost more bone around the root surfaces now if I were to measure the pockets on a healthy area when I measure the pockets from the level of the gum to the level of the bone this is a small number now as you develop these plaque it works its way down without the gum receding on many cases so what it happens is that when we develop uh, the, the deep pockets here it means that I measure from the level of the gum to the level of the bone because of the bone loss it's a big big number so when you floss and brush the bristles of the brush or the floss cannot go between the gum and the tooth by more than one or two millimeters which is really small like about this much so if I were to measure this this is almost 10-15 millimeters so you're not cleaning this area at all now, then the periodontist or the general dentist will tell you that we have to do deep cleaning, which means that we numb you up, we use our scalers, these are scalers, you see, it has these tips, they, the tips hug the root surfaces like this and we clean the root surfaces with them. When we do the deep cleaning, we do it kind of blindly, but we can go further down because you're numb. Now, when we do the osseous surgery, we still numb you up the same way. We make incisions here, move the gum out of the way. Then I can physically see the root surfaces and then again use our scalers or uh, piezotome or cavitrons, which are high vibrating scalers, and we will clean the root surfaces. Now, when we put it back, we also remove some of the bad gum here. So when we put it back, the gum will shrink down on the lower teeth and up on the upper teeth. And therefore, you see more of the root surfaces to keep clean. You see, the purpose of the osseous surgery was for me as a periodontist to have access to, to see it, to clean it, and also give you access to maintain it clean. Now, this is called osseous surgery however at the time of the osseous surgery sometimes what we can do we can add bone here so we do a bone graft to generate the bone if possible now we put a membrane on it too because those bone particles are small and they can get lost now when we do the laser gum surgery we do it uh, also, we numb you up here. We put our instruments, the scalers, in there and kind of blindly still clean it. However, we use our laser pointer over here. And the laser is designed so it only detects bacteria that cause gum disease. Those bacteria are black and brown pigmented and the wavelength of the laser is set so that it only kills that and not the good tissue surfaces and what it happens is that we want that healthy tissue start to attach to the root surfaces and we want this bone to start generating up on the lower teeth and down on the upper teeth 
that's called laser Lenape gum surgery, which is uh, least invasive as far as surgical procedure concerned to regenerate the gum and bone. So we went over three different state uh, way of treating gum disease: the deep cleaning, the gum surgery, which means opening the gum, and the laser gum surgery, which is not opening the gum and still going deep in there. In addition to the deep cleaning, we use the laser as well. Now, if you have uh, any questions about gum disease, implants, and so on, you can contact me at uh, San Diego Dental Implants dot com, and I'll be happy to answer them for you. Thank you for listening and watching.